<laughs> How you doing here? This is Yaakov with a beautiful idea. And the merit of this beautiful idea, may everybody strengthen themselves and be able to have the strength, be able to find the strength from outside and inside to be able to have complete faith, to see that God's everywhere with you. So um, the first, uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, I mean, I spoke a while ago about beautiful, righteous person, Rabbi Natan of Breslov, Rabbi Nassim of Zatzal, who uh, is the main student of Rabbi Nachman. I'm going to give over another beautiful idea from him. And everyone, every every idea from him is an uh, insight into, into our life. And also, just a, like a huge diamond you can walk around with that nobody could take. <laughs> so here you go. And this uh, beautiful idea is based off of Tehillim, the Psalm 92. King David's, to, uh, actually the Tehillim, or again, I've quoted many times, we have a tradition that this Psalm is originally from Adam in the in the garden, in the Gan Eden. And, uh, and, and King David incorporated it into Tehillim, number 92. Um, and also... We have a tradition that, that the Tehillim, also especially from 90 to 100, has been written as well by Moshe Rabbeinu. So I believe uh, this Tehillim had also some things added on um, by Moshe. But here we go, nonetheless. And l let's hear the commentary. So beautiful, beautiful, uh, again, uh, we're going to go back on this. It says, Mizmor Shir Yom HaShabbat. Uh, it's a song of, uh, a great song for the day of Shabbat. It is good to praise Hashem and to thank Hashem. And to, uh, and to sing of your name, of your exalted name. To tell of your kindness in the morning. And your faithfulness in the nights. Okay, so now he says, about your faithfulness in the nights. Okay, what does that mean? Going more in depth. We need to, to strengthen ourselves with complete faith. Okay? And referencing, why does it say faithfulness in the nights? Because at the night time is when you can't see, is when you have a hard time, you're being tested, and you don't know what to do. It's called the night. Somebody shut off the lights, and you don't know where to go. So during that time, you need to strengthen yourself with the Muna Shlema. You need to know, I need to have a Muna Shlema this time. Right? How do we do it? Okay? La'amin. What are we supposed to believe? La'amin be'emet. To, to know in truth. To believe, sorry, to believe in truth. Shegam balayla bevchinat achar bria. That also at night, which is after creation, we find before creation there was only God. So it was very simple and also very, very, uh, very uh, straightforward and freeing. You know, there's only God before creation. After creation, Hashem said, "I'm uh, first day. I'm going to create light and darkness, beautiful this, then sun and moon, then all these beautiful things." Every day after that. Um, all these different things being created and you see as you go through history people are saying that the moon is God and that the fish are God and, and this is God and the sun is God and the moon is everybody's saying all these different things Hashem created those things throughout all the seven days of the week now the, the question is why are people so confused about all these things they make humans into God they make a moon into God the sun into God everybody's making all these different creations into God and not the creator not the one who created the source of everything because after creation you have divisions divisions it's difficult to see through all these divisions which one has more power because you have like you have King David look at King David he's like this little little guy right we were taught that he's uh, he thought wasn't so tall right he doesn't look like he has so much power and you have his og you have his giant and it looks like you know he's defeated so many people in battle he's huge so strong can destroy so many people and David, King David brought him down. So from the outside, King David might have looked like this little mouse. And, and Og, this giant, and he might, maybe he's God, you know? Because after creation, after you created all these different beings and after all these different options of what you can say is the God and who's the one in control, it's confusing. It really is. It's like, is the pill healing me? Is the doctor healing me? Is is the sun healing me? Like uh, people are like uh, confused. Yeah, sun, you get vitamin D. Hashem created the sun to give you vitamin D. But it's confusing if you don't have the first part. You, you you don't remember where it's coming from. It's very difficult. So we need to know to believe that the truth is that also at night, which is after creation, which is like the ask concept of after creation. The concept of being after creation again means that there's the, the divisions in life 
where it's dark in life and you can't see throughout all these divisions who is in control of all these things, right? That's like at nighttime when you can't see. You don't know who's in control. Because the light of the day, the light of the day is like in the morning when you wake up in the morning and the light comes out. It, it's like it's like the Or Hashkacha, the light of Hashem's divine providence where you can see Hashem clearly. When you see God clearly is like... The tell of his kindness in the morning. In the morning, when you wake up, is when you can see clearly. Literally, there's light outside. You can see the difference between this and that, and this and that, and this and that, right? So it's like it's like a different it's a dif- different existence in the morning, so to speak. So in the morning, when you wake up, when there's light outside, and throughout the day, where there's light outside, you can see. It's like Hashem's being obvious with you. You can see exactly where you're going and who's in control and what, and sort of sort of speak. And uh, what's happening in the world? Okay, that Hashem's in control. Avabalayla nechshachor, but at night, the light is hidden. Uh, the light is the light is being darkened, right? Because uh, because it's, it's time for dark. Chazal bechinat hastart yediat hashkacha. That's the aspect of the hidden awareness of Hashem's divine providence. At night is not just at night time. It means all the tests in life that you're going through, so to speak. Okay, that you can't see, that you have a hard time seeing exactly who's in control. So it's the the, the knowledge of the awareness of Hashem, that Hashem's in control is hidden from you. That that's the aspect of after creation. That there, after creation, you have free choice because you have all these choices now. You have day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. All of the things that are created in those days, and you could say whatever you want because now you have free choice. To say, oh, but the birds and the fish and everything came from here and everything came from here and thus everything came from the sun and the moon, just like Avram Avinu, trying to find out exactly um, who's in control of everything during his lifetime. Because after creation, you know, after create, if you if you remember everything before creation, everything's simple. You remember who where everything came from. But if after creation you're you look like you came from your mother, you know, you came from your mother's womb and you're learning about the world and everything like that, frogs, fish. You know, you forget what's happening in the world. You forget who's in control because you don't, you didn't, you didn't, you don't remember seeing anything um, about uh, who's in control. But so, so that's 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 what it means. Because after creation, that's when you have free choice. You have free choice. Now you could choose. Now this is the test. You have free choice. You have more than one choice to choose. Who's in control? Who's who's the one in charge? What's happening here in this world? After, after creation, which is when we are all born, after creation. And now we, we have the test, right? But uh, before creation, there's no test because only, there's only Hashem before creation. And we have to know that also after creation, this concept of faithfulness in the nights, at the nighttime when you have free choice and you don't know, you can't see where you're going and you don't know who's in charge, but you could choose to, anybody to be in charge and you don't even know if they're right or not. Also, there illuminates Hashem's divine providence always, just like during the day, just like before creation. Because also, it says also that the darkness cannot hide, cannot hide God. And also, the nighttime is like, is, it shines, also at the nighttime, Hashem's light is shining like the day. Meaning, there's no difference for God. For us, we see like he's as, as if during our tests and during the hard times in our life, the dark times, that, which is called times at night, it seems like Hashem's hiding himself, right? So, so it's, it's very, it's, well, that's our test. Those are our tests. But really, Hashem's saying, even during your test, I'm shining like the day. But you just don't see it. And I don't see it, right? So that's why we need to have this faith. Faith means something you can't see, something you don't see. And you're able to weather it with the awareness that, for, as Rav Jor said, as uh, as as illuminating the times, remembering the times where you did see, and the times that you don't that you can't see, that you have trouble seeing, and that wakes you up. So not don't to, to recognize that we live in the Olam Shekir. We live in the false world, where things are not as they seem, and you can't always rely on your eyes. You have to rely on your inner eyes, as the Gemara says, where the eyes of the wise are inside your head. That you're looking at the wisdom that you have. You know what I'm looking at is not the whole picture. Or it could be, may not be any of the picture that I, that's relevant for me to understand or to be able to look at the situation. Okay, so he says that even at nighttime, Hashem's light shines like the day. 
Vivirkat Kriyat Shema. And that's what it says to include the Mida at nighttime in, in the in the in the nighttime davening that that uh, the Jewish people pray. To, it speaks about including the me, the uh, the Mida, which means the measurement, but it includes includes the aspect of of Yom in the nighttime. What does that mean, Yom in the nighttime? We're saying here, Yom means the day. It says. To tell of your kindness in the morning, meaning during the daytime, where you can see the light, you can see Hashem's divine providence, and you include that divine providence, that awareness, into in the night times. At the times where you can't see the, that you have faith, and the times when you remember, when the times when you saw, remember Hashem's also shining that light also at night during all the tests that you're going through and the hard times. Okay, and that's and that's why it, what it brings down there, and the secrets of that's that's the secret of what's being brought down also in the bl- blessings before Shema, when we say Shema at night at night time. That it's saying here that that we should know to know and to instill the knowledge within ourselves that everything is one. after creation is connected to before creation. That's what referring to the daytime where you see Hashem's Ashkacha, where the light's outside, Hashem's light is obvious, and at nighttime, and your and also the nighttime, the same. That they're the same. They look different, but they are the same. Bayit Vaderech. House and way. In your house, it's your com- you're in your comfort zone. That's where everything is known to you, what's inside your house. But Vaderech, when you're on the way, derech means way. When you're on your path and you're and you're traveling, you don't know what's happening. It's like after creation where you have all these choices happening in your life. But in your house, you know exactly everything's set. It's your comfort zone. It's like you know everything that's inside your house, everything that, that Hashem helped you have inside your house, it's hashkacha, it's divine providence. It's literally from Hashem inside your house. It's obvious. But when you're on the way, you can, it's very difficult to know what you're going to encounter and all the different things you, you'd have to deal with outside. And that's the as- aspect of balilot at nighttime. During the night time, excuse my language. And this is why it says in the davening in the Shema Yisrael that that the Jewish people recite. We say when you lay down. Sorry, when you sit in your house, when you when you're going on the way, and when you lay down, and when you get up. Because everything is one. Because Hashem, Hashem is our God, Hashem is one. Now what does that mean? It's, it, we say that we're supposed to speak words of Torah, we're supposed to be, speak words of God, godly words. Okay, um, When you're sitting at your table, when you're sitting in your house, and when you're on the way, and you leave your house, and you're on the way to go wherever you're going, and you're on, on the different paths you're taking, and when you're lying down, when you're about to lie down, and also when you're getting up at, in the morning. Okay, So what, what do these, all these things have in common? From the outside, they have nothing in common, actually, because these are all different modes of action that you're doing. But there's one thing that there's a common. Hashem is our God, Hashem is one. Hashem is with us in all these situations the same. Meaning, you think it looks different to you when, you go, when you're on the way. You're like, oh my God, you have to anticipate what you're going to have to do on the way to work. What's, what the work is like, what this is like. When you're in your house, you feel, oh, I'm relaxed. That feels nice. I'm familiar. It's wonderful. Okay, great. Now, the same things apply. Hashem is with you in your house. Hashem's with you on the way. Hashem's with you at work. Hashem's with, with you when you're eating. Hashem's with you in the bathroom. Hashem's with you when you lie down. Hashem's with you when you get up. That's the commonality. Hashem Echad. Hashem is one. Just as Hashem is with you when you're in, all, when you're in your house, Hashem's with you on the way. Okay, and when you understand that, you have that grasp of wisdom, then you'll have faith also in the tests that you're going through. You'll speak to Hashem in the tests to realize, Hashem, I see with my eyes that things are really, really difficult, but I know when I, and sorry, I believe from the from the times that I saw you, from the times that I know that I saw you, you showed up for me those times, you made yourself obvious, and then now it doesn't look like you're showing up for me because it doesn't look obvious. But you are going to show up for me, and you are showing up for me, and you're preparing this amazing, amazing package for me. You just want me to believe in you on the way. While, while, while we're here, while we're in this situation, you want me to believe it. This is faithfulness in the night. So you don't see that God's there. But God's shining like light, like, like divine providence in the, in, in, in the tests, just like He's shining when you don't have a test and everything feels like you won in the lottery. Everything's amazing. So just remembering that 
just to strengthen yourself with that, that ability to understand that also Hashem is, Hashem is one with you. He's with you just as strongly, if not stronger in the tests, just as much as He is with you in the daytime and the, and the, and the time where everything's great and everything's obvious and, and everything and you see His light everywhere. You see that God is with you 100% in what you're doing. Just like you see Hashem's with you 100% in what you're doing in the good times, you should be zuchah to see Hashem's with you. You should merit to see that God is with you just like that. And even greater when in, 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 the, in the times that, are, that seem difficult, that appear difficult. Cast your wisdom aside and recognize recognize with your faith you need to see and not with your and not with your wisdom during times of tests look with your faith your faith means don't listen to what's going on in your head quiet your head and ask Hashem pray to Hashem and you see what comes up because God is with you always have a great one bye enjoy <laughs>